Hey guys, I'm back with another reading lesson. And we're going to talk about rereading to learn more about the character. We talked before about um, rereading to um, learn more things in the story, but we can also reread to learn more about the character. Like we've known each other a long time, but we can still learn new things about each other. Like I, I'm not sure if you even know that I grew up in Maryland. I didn't grow up in New York. I grew up in Maryland. And if you didn't know that, see, we've known each other a long time and we can still learn new things. Well, that's the same thing with our books. We can reread, even though we know the characters, we can reread to learn more things about them. You will notice more things each time that you reread. And when you discover new details about the character, you can think, what does this teach me about the character? So if we go back into our book, Mr. Putter and Tabby Drop the Ball, now, we already read chapter one, but if I go back to chapter one, we can use what we already know about the character to realize and learn new things. So chapter one says, it says, Mr. Putter and his fine cat Tabby love to nap in the summertime. They love napping in the garden. They love napping on the, in, <clears throat> on the porch. And they loved napping in the car. So I can see that Mr. Putter and Tabby, they nap everywhere, even even Tabby's napping um, in the back of the car. What does this teach me about the character, about Mr. Putter? Hmm, well, maybe, maybe he naps so much because he's old and he's not so, he doesn't have so much energy anymore. Maybe he needs more rest because he's older. So maybe that's, he naps all the time because of that. You can also ask yourself, why is he doing these things? Why is he napping all the time? Maybe because he's older, okay? Remember, you can learn from the words and the pictures. They love to also nap together. I see Mr. I see Tabby sitting on Mr. Putter. Tabby always seems to be close to uh, Mr. Putter. Now, if I read on, it says, it seems that we nap all the time, Mr. Putter said to Tabby one day. Tabby was old and her frisky days were over. She loved napping. I think we need a sport, said Mr. Putter. And Tabby opened one eye. I think we need baseball, said Mr. Putter. Tabby opened the other eye. I wonder where my old mitt is, said Mr. Putter. And he headed to the basement. Tabby was wide awake now. I can see that Tabby and Mr. Putter like to be together because Tabby even follows Mr. Putter to the basement. And if I look at the um, the pictures, I can see, like we mentioned before, that there's roller skates. There's a, the roller skates over here. I see a bowling ball. I even see um, that I didn't notice last time. There's a sled here, like that you use in the snow. There's a tennis racket and a bike. And then, the, of course, the baseball mitt. There's a lot of stuff in his basement. I even see an old typewriter. I see paint. I see a pencil sharpener. There's a lot of stuff, but there's a lot of sports things in um, Mr. Putter's um, basement. Um, and I notice things in the picture that are not in the words. It doesn't list all of those things in the words. So what is this teaching me about Mr. Putter? Well. It teaches me that Mr. Putter's sporty too. Remember, um, Mrs. T-Bear said that she's sporty, but um, Mr. Putter is sporty too, or at least he used to be. It doesn't seem like he uses all this stuff anymore because it's in the basement. We usually put things in the basement that we don't use a lot. Um, so he probably hasn't played these sports in a long time, but maybe he did um, when he was younger. So um, now let me go on to... The next chapter, it says, the team. Mr. Putter found his mitt. Now all we need is a team, he told Tabby. Mr. Putter called his friend and neighbor, Mrs. T-Berry. Now I'm wondering why you can, like I said, you can think about why things are happening. Mr. Putter um, wanted a baseball team, and um, but why did he call Mrs. T-Berry? Hmm, I might stop and think about that. Why did he do that? Well, maybe because they were best friends, and maybe he trusted... Um, he trusted her to um, to call her about the team. Maybe he called her because he knew she was sporty. 
It says Mrs. Teaberry would know about a team. She was very sporty. She even walked the dogathon with her good dog Zeke. So that gives me a little clue. Mr. Potter knew that Mrs. Teaberry was sporty, but also maybe because she was his close, close friend. Of course there's a team, said Mrs. Teaberry. It's called the Yankee Doodle Dandies. Am I too old to play? asked Mr. Potter. Heavens no, said Mrs. Teaberry handing Zeke a sniffy bone. You will feel young on that team. Now, some sentence starters that you can use um, when you're reading and you stop is, you could say, one thing I notice is blank. Or, I think blank because blank. I think, Mrs. I think Mr. Putter called Mrs. T-Bear because they're best friends. Or, one thing I notice is that Mr. Putter and Tabby sleep a lot. I think they sleep a lot because they're older and they need more rest, okay? The thing I can't say enough is that you must be thinking while you're reading because as your books get longer, you need to think even more so that you can keep track of what's going on in the story, okay? Rereading is important. Rereading helps us learn more about the characters. It helps us understand the characters better, understand the stories better. You can use the words and the pictures to understand the story better and to understand the characters better. You need to think what, about what's happening in the story and what that teaches you about the character. Sometimes you will have to make inferences. You have to say, I think blank because the story's not going to tell you everything. You have to use your brain, okay? So remember, you can learn more by rereading. You can learn more about the story and more about the characters. Now practice that, and I will see you next time.